reporting from Greeley where an earthquake has occurred. Many people are debating the cause. Was it the Harlem Shake or fracking? I am here with a couple of eyewitnesses. What was the earthquake like for you? Well, I'm here with my Hearst Goldie and here's what she has to say. It was shaky. What do you think caused the earthquake? Definitely the Harlem Shake. What happens when a fault slips? So when a fault slips, the earthquake waves radiate out from the fault and cause a lot of shaking and potentially damage to houses and people on the surface. Like the Harlem Shake? Exactly. Nina Rojas back with a scientist studying the cause of the earthquake. What is your perspective? So. Uh, in response to the earthquake, we put out some seismometers um, and we're monitoring for any new uh, earthquakes, but at this point it's too early to tell whether or not the Harlem Shake or uh, disposal wells are the cause of the, of the earthquake. Okay, so here's a, an example of what a reservoir is um, in this very small laboratory experiment. So here is a sample of rock. And this is a sandstone. And if we zoomed in really, really close with a microscope, this looks like a solid piece of rock and totally, um, totally complete. But actually, if you zoom in, the little sand grains actually would look like these beads in this jar. Okay? And when the beads are stacked on top of each other, uh, it creates a solid rock like this. But there are actually spaces in between the little sand grains. And those can be filled up with what I have here, which is water, but they can also be filled up with oil or gas, okay? And when you fill it up with oil or gas, um, oil and gas companies will come in and drill a well right into, this, right into this formation and start to pump. And what they would get out is essentially the fluid, right? So I don't know if you can see this, but essentially they start to actually drain the formation of its oil and gas, okay? and so. Instead of having just water or oil or gas in there, now those pore spaces are empty. And that's what a reservoir formation is. For instance, if they're injecting into um, a sandstone, we'll take a piece of that sandstone and put it right in here. And we'll put it into a laboratory apparatus where they will flow a known quantity of water from this inlet to this outlet, okay? And the water will flow into this tube and down into the rock sample and flow through the rock sample. And we'll know how much we're putting in, and then we can also measure how much is coming out, and we can, we can also measure how long it's taken for a known volume to go through here. And that gives you some estimate of how permeable this rock is. And what perme permeability is, is how able the fluid is to flow through this rock. And so like if, it, if you put in a, uh, a known volume here and it came out really fast, then this rock would be very permeable. We would call that very permeable. But if we put a lot um, water in here and it took a long time for it to flow through and flow out, then it would be less permeable. And so we measure that and we can use that in our models to figure out if for a given volume of injection in an injection well, how long it would take for that fluid to flow to the fault, and whether or not the earthquakes that we're monitoring at a, um, around the injection well, if the fluid could get there, knowing that how long it takes for the fluid to flow through that rock type. We're going to keep studying them and uh, have a conclusion in the next couple of months. Carolina Rojas back with breaking news regarding the earthquake supposedly caused by the Harlem Shake. No actual evidence has linked the two, meaning people can keep on shaking.
con los terroristas. Harlem shit.